Good evening. Tonight we're playing Monsters and Legends, and no, we would not like to get notifications. Fairly quick to load up. This game reminds me a lot of a cross between the Lord of the Rings with its Pendelf character helping you and uh, Kung Fu Panda. So Kung Fu Panda and the Lord of the Rings had a game baby. And this is one of those strategy games where you build, 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 attack, 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 kill, 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 grow, 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 invade, take over, get bigger and bigger and grow your empire. But your empire in this case involves a fire sore as your first monster. It's nearly Halloween, so monsters are perfect. So we follow along Pandelf's little uh, tutorial and do as he says. We can complete the hatching and then place our fire sore into our fire environment or our fire habitat. Now he says we should feed our monster. Feed a monster. Choose the monster to feed. Tap on the feed mutton until your monster grows to level four. <coughs> Pardon me. And so we keep feeding this little glutton and grow him bigger and stronger. <coughs> Excuse me. And now we can build a farm. So we can grow some food to feed the wee beastie. And we grew our farm. Hit OK. And like most of these games, the initial builds go pretty quick. We can choose what type of food. I'm going to go with blue lizard's tails since they're the cheapest at the moment. Our blue lizard tails are ready to collect. Tap the collect button. And congratulations. Now just keep hatching more exotic monsters and growing feed food to feed them. And we're going up in levels. We now unlocked the breeding mountain and the nature habitat. No, I would not like to share this. And let's open up a nature habitat. What the heck? And there's not a lot of room to put it. We already have a nature habitat and I guess that monster belongs to us. I thought that was somebody we needed to attack. But uh, two nature habitats are better than one, I guess. <laughs> okay, we're going up another level it appears. Build a nature habitat and start breeding nature monsters. Build an earth habitat and... Well, that's pretty self-explanatory. If we log into Facebook, we'll get a bunch of gooey junk. Not gonna bother with that. Let's buy an egg. We'll get a treezard. Instead of a greenosaur. Well, the names are pretty, uh... Non-threatening. Uh, this game's graphics are pretty nice. I don't think they're terrifying enough to scare off the uh, younger players, which is always a good thing. Welcome. Throughout the next 15 days, you will receive daily gifts that will help you in your progress. Nice. I don't know what kind of goodies we'll get, but hey, whatever. What would you like to do with your new tree lizard? I'd like to place him. No, there's somebody there already. Let's put him over here. And, uh, breed fire with nature. Speed up fire in nature hatching or place fire in nature hybrid. Well, first we gotta breed one. Okay, we gotta create the breeding mountain. And we'll take Hephaestus and Mimo. Okay, Mimo. Start breeding. 
and here's a long drawn out animation that they try and get you to waste a jewel on to speed things up those jewels tend to get harder to come by as things progress so I'm not going to waste it Hephaestus seems like he's braying at the moon or she I'm not even sure which is which or maybe they're asexual and they can both do whatever Oh, you can actually clear rocks and such to get out of your way. Okay. The hatchery. Let's up complete hatching. We got a panda con or panda ken, whatever it is. Let's place him. Let's place him there. Sure. And this shows the various levels as he progresses through his life and different levels, I guess. Omaron, three of 207 monsters. Well, at least they give it plenty of uh, variety to deal with. And let's tap on the goals. Feed the fire nature monster to level four. Your monster will make more money when it grows. Win battles in the adventure map to get XP. Uh, send the gift. No, thank you. Scroll out. Tap on Hephaestus. And we grew him to level four. Uh, five. And now let's go to the nature habitat and make Palais, the panda can, grow up a bit. And he's level four now. We now have a farm, a nature habitat, and fungi that we can grow. And look, he's a mini... Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> and he's eating. Yeah, why not waste a corn, uh, jewels for food so we can get him to where we need him. Okay, he's level 5 now. Okay, let's upgrade our building. We'll waste the jewels for that. New feature, invite friends to play Monster Legends. Yeah, no. Let's not bother with that right now. Let's see what our panda... Pandelf has to say. Let's go to the adventure map. Open the adventure map and you can live great adventures fighting with your monsters. Tap the attack button. Tap to start your first adventure. You are full of stamina. And fight. This should be easy. It's three on one. Oh boy. Knocked most of his stout most of them out right there. And that should do it for this. Yep. Okay. Got seven thousand one hundred and ninety seven for our score. And uh two stars. I don't know, I guess if we were to beat him in one, with one of our players, we would have got three stars. Let's roll the roulette wheel. She's got some crazy cotton candy hair, hasn't she? Let's see what kind of goodies we get. Ooh, we get a Friedel, whatever that is. It looks like another kind of egg. And now we have another egg to mess with. Let's do another fight, just for kicks. Oh, it's two against three now. Fight! These guys look like they're lightning. Alright, select one enemy. Okay, we knocked him around a bit. Oh, we got hit by lightning. Nemo's gonna beat up on this guy. He's 60% down. Okay, and the fire sword whacks out one of these lightning guys. And both of them are done. It's victorious. And so, another two stars and a bunch of food. 
And some experience points. We will roll the roulette wheel once again. Ooh, we got some food. A thousand food. Excellent. And maybe we'll do one more quick battle. Let's see. Oh, we got three dinosaurs we gotta fight this time. Okay, it's three on three. Finally a fair fight. Alrighty. Pele attacks. Oh no, he recharged himself. Do a bark scratch and do about 30% damage. And... Oh boy, the angry bite. Oh boy. Oh, luckily I got plenty of strength. Okay, come on Pele. Do some damage here. Okay, one down. Mimo attack. And... Oop, the razor claws. Poof. That makes two. Hephaestus did a job on that guy. And Pele whacks out the other guy and the victorious once again. It's a repetitive game. I guess you have to clear the whole level of all those before you can exit the map and go back to your building. Let's roll the roulette wheel one last time. See what goodies we can amass. Ooh, more food. Huzzah! And I think we'll wrap it up here. Pretty fun game. Could get tedious as things go, but that's about it. Have a great night. Bye for now. Onagiwahia.